Hey gang, Matt with Atlas Precision Consulting. In this quick video, we're going to talk about the location supplier maintenance screen. Uh, this will seem very familiar uh, to you if you at, at all deal with supplier maintenance. Essentially what this is, this is the location tab or the locations tab within supplier maintenance. A lot of the same data exists. It just in here, it's in a grid form, so it's not as, as easy to manipulate. Also, you're not going to want to give everybody access to supplier maintenance. Um, so it is useful if you're trying to do it in a quick screen for one location. It's, it's easier to read. Also, you could protect supplier maintenance. Um, and there's one extra thing that this, this has that the other uh, thing in supplier maintenance doesn't have. So I'm not going to go through every single one of these, uh, but it's pretty self-explanatory what they are. I'll, I'll cover a couple that I think are important. Review cycle, um, we've, we've talked about that in other videos. It's important to note this review cycle is that one that lives on the locations tab, not the one that lives on the purchasing tab. If your locations do not have unique or different review cycles, do not put anything in this review cycle only update or whoever can update the one on the purchasing tab here. Um, date last review. That's going to be the last time you ran Porg uh, and generated POs. It's going to keep that update to know when you have last reviewed it. So if you do review it quicker, um, it, it's giving you that information that, you know, hey, you've just recently done this as, you know, a week ago. Um, Again, all these things live in the other tab. It's just put out a little bit better here. It's a little bit more readable. The one big thing this screen does have is it has the lead data calculator. Now, this is only important if you are doing your lead time based on supplier, not item. So if you wanna update the average lead time on an item, We've covered that in another video. That's an item maintenance screen because it's very specific to an item. But if you are using uh, your lead time source as supplier, this is where you can update that average lead time. So you can come in here and say, oh, that should have been 30 days, that sh or 300 days, it should have been 30 days. And you hit save. Now the issue with that is it's not gonna recalculate the average lead time until your next receipt. Uh, but that's the big difference in this screen versus doing updating the actual lead time or excuse me the average lead time and item maintenance that's specific to an item this is specific to a supplier now if you're not doing any kind of lead time source on supplier you don't even really need to worry about that screen um, again the rest of this is pretty self-explanatory it all lives in that other screen as well default instructions so when you place a po it'll print on the po default carrier if you're trying to hit a target value as far as your spending limit if you're trying to get a freight value you could put that in here too again it's just kind of a review over some of the same data in supplier maintenance locations tab uh, but if you guys have questions on this or if you want to see other videos put a comment down below make sure you like and subscribe and atlas will always be here for your profit 21 needs thanks guys